Welcome to Sandwiches of History. Today from 1001 Sandwiches of 1936, we're going to be making the dried beef and cheese sandwich. And if you're thinking another dried beef sandwich, yeah, I gotta use it up. All right, so it had us grind the dried beef, which is kind of ironic given that the uh, dried beef is formed from ground beef. All right, so now we add in uh, diced or minced celery and shredded cheese. Didn't say what kind, so I'm going mild cheddar. And now we're to add mayonnaise. It did not say how much. I'm guessing enough to bind. Now we put that on the bread. No, not buttered. What a day. Okay, let's give this dried beef and cheese sandwich a go. Dried beef, which I can only get in a jar, is really salty, so you have to rinse it first, which I did do. This basically makes it into like a beef lunch meat. Kind of neutral. Nice crunch for the celery. Going well with the mayonnaise. It's fine. It's a fine sandwich. Is it great? No. Do I want to plus it up? Yes. And a little dried dill. Mayonnaise the outside. Yep. Time for the grilled cheese treatment. Okay, let's give this dried beef and cheese sandwich plussed up with a little dill weed and give it a grilled cheese treatment a go. Without a doubt better. A little crunch on the outside, a little bit of dill on the inside. I didn't use pickles because it already had celery and I just felt like it was just gonna be adding more stuff. I just wanted the, that hit of dill and it worked. So the original dried beef and cheese sandwich was um, Middle of the road. I'm going to give it a five, as you might have guessed. Uh, plus up a little dill weed and given the grilled cheese treatment. You're using mayonnaise on the outside instead of butter. I'll give that a six. Uh, I'm definitely going to finish that. I don't know that I'd go out of my way to make this again because there's other uh, better sandwiches to have. But yeah, I'll finish it. Why not? <laughs> All right. See you tomorrow. You stink. I think you're going to have a good Christmas. All right. You smell like beef and cheese. You don't smell like Santa.